Okay then, in this video we will continue the previous session. Previous session. In the previous session we implemented um, a demo tool that allows us to draw polygons dynamically. So for instance in here I can draw a polygon, I can draw multi-polygons, but I don't have any button or any control that allow, allows me to, you know, to control the behavior of this one. So like in here, so for instance here I have a button, so when I click on this it turns red, so it means this button is, um, so this um, functionality or drawing polygons dynamically is active, so I can draw a polygon, and once I double click, so it becomes inactive, and now I no, I no longer uh, can draw um, a polygon. So we need this kind of button, so in this video, will implement that button so there are several ways to do that so the first one would be uh, used by using a conventional method like we can add um, a button and add some kind of events and methods so that allows us so it allows us to control you know this behavior and another way would be to use l.control so in here we have a class called control so that means we can extend this control on uh, this control class so that so then we will have our custom control or custom plugin and then we can also use two uh, two utility tools in here called a dom event and dom util so dom event is a utility um utility yeah yes a set of utilities that allow you and that allows you um, to control events um, on DOM elements in Leaflet and also DOM, DOM util um, also these are utility functions and they allow you to manage DOM elements like HTML elements you can for instance you know remove HTML element or add uh, a new HTML element or add a class or remove a class these kind of things so now let's go to control class and here you can read l.control is a base class so that means it's an abstract class and all controls in leaflet are derived from this l.control class so we will use this class in other words we will extend this class um, and then we will add uh, an object using that extended class and add that one to our map so I'll show everything step by step so in here I would like to point out that there are two methods in this l.control class so this one the first one is very important and it should be in every uh, l.control extend I mean in every class in in leaflet control class and this method should return uh, HTML DOM element. You can read the one in here as well. Should return the container DOM element, all right? And this one is optional. So I would like to explain what these ones are. So on add is is call add when the control is added to the map, and on remove is call add when the control is removed from the map. Okay. So we will use on add on remove is not necessary because we're not going to remove you know our control from the map so that's why for our purposes so on add is sufficient so let's implement that so let's go to our code and right after this double click we first extend that l.control class for that we first of all let's create a comment and say custom draw geometry plugin so it's gonna be basically plugin or control so in here we need to specify our custom class so in here we'll say l.control and then the, we need to define a name for our plugin so in my case I'll write custom draw geometry tools like this and then this would be equal to l dot control sorry control and then dot extend extend 
and in here we can pass some other options so please pay attention to the naming convention so in here it should be the first letter should be capital control and then in here everything is camel case so that means the first word is capitalized I mean not the first word um, the first letter in each word is capitalized so for instance custom is one word draw is one word geometry is one word tools is one word all right so now we need on add on add and remember this one is a function and this function should return my map object so we can see that one in here as well on add map object so that would be my map and then and remember this one this function at the end should return HTML element but we don't have that HTML element yet so it means we need to create our HTML element and HTML element for for this example would be a button because we need a button so let's define a button and we do that by using a utility tool call it l.domutil so I'll show that one so we have here l.domutil L. so the utility functions to work with dom tree so in here we have we have this method call it a function we have call, uh, a function called create and this creates uh, a HTML element for you so I'll say l dom util dot create and then button because I need button and and I will associate a class with uh, for this button so it's gonna be draw polygon so you can write whatever you like it's just a CSS class all right so you can refer to this one and then style your button later on so now we need to associate text with this button and that's why I will say in div inner div dot inner HTML and then in here I will say draw a polygon so we have finalized our button so now what we need to do is we need to return it so like this so we have returned it now we have extended l.control class but we haven't created an object using this custom class right so we need to we need to initialize this class and also we need to add it to the map to the leaflet map so and the convention again in leaflet is uh, to create a factory function a factory function if you don't know is a function that returns a new object in this case new object would be an instance of this class so I will show I will I will I will um, I'll create that factory function and then I will explain it one more time so and the convention for factory functions are small letters so like basically the same as the bay uh, as a bay uh, the same as a class from which it's being derived but all the you know all the la uh, all the words should be smaller small case not uppercase but lowercase so it's gonna be the same as this but lowercase all right so l dot control custom row geometry tools and then I will say function and then options so I'll just shorten it and say OPTS and this one just returns my custom class which is this one it's just nothing then just it's just a it's just nothing it just returns um, this class all right an instance of this class so now I can initialize this one so I can say hey this and then I can pass some options um, so so and I would like to point out one more thing in here so l dot control extend is is what we're extending right so that means all options available in this one is passed to this so and remember l.control class has position uh, option you know like which defines which defines where you know where your uh, control should be whether it's top left top right etc so I'll say position and I want this this to be top left top left like this 
So, and what we need to do is we need to add it to our map, my map. And I'm sorry, in here, we just need to uh, call this function and then pass these options. Otherwise, you know, these ones will not work. So now let's check. Hopefully, everything should work. So now we have a button, all right? So, but this this button is not functional yet because we haven't assigned any methods or events to this button. So now let's go through our code one more time. So in here, we are extending l.control class, which is a which allows you to you know which allows you to define custom controls. So in this one, on add is very important, and this one should return a diff element or HTML element. Sorry. So I will show it on the documentation one more time. So control. So l control is a base class, and on add must be in all uh, custom classes. All right. So then in here we are defining our factory function. So this factory function is just a factory, you know, like it just... So for instance, to better explain this, I can just copy this one more time. I mean like copy it and paste it. And instead of top left, I can make it top right. You know, it's just, re it's just a function that returns our custom class. So an instance of our custom class. So you see, so I have two uh, two buttons right now. I don't need two, I just need one. So that's why I can delete this one. And in here, we're just adding that one to our map. In fact, if you don't like this one, it's just a convention. If you don't like this, what you can do is you can directly initialize your object using this one. So, But in that case, you need to define it in a different way. So for instance, I can say, for instance, my custom draw, whatever. So my custom, okay, tool, then I'll say new, and then I'll just pass, paste, sorry, I'll just paste my new class. And in here, I can pass some options. So let's say I want position again. I want position to be, let's say, top left, top left. So, and then I need to add it to my map. So, you see, it's exactly the same one. So, I can change this one to top right, top right, and it's gonna be top right. You see, it's on the top right. So, we're just uh, passing some pos uh, options in here, and everything will be passed to to this one. You can actually access all, all these options in here. So for that, what you can do is you can say, for instance, let's say, let's, let's, uh, let's say, for instance, name, and then just, it's just a f fictional, you know, uh, option. So I'm just passing some uh, dummy, you know, uh, option, call it name, and then it has a value test. And if you would like to access it in here, you can do it. So right after this in here, right after this on add, so I'll just say console log, console log this. And then let's check. So in here, we have this and then we have options. So you see, we have name and position. So you can easily access those uh, options in here. And that's really good if you would like to make something like dynamic, for instance, instead of draw a polygon text, you can pass some kind of dynamic one. So, and so it can be then dynamically assigned it to the button. All right. So, but the convention is not to use this, instead use this one. So, I mean, factory function. So you make a factory function, that returns uh, an instance of that class and then you can then call it in here and then add it to your map. So basically that's it regarding this video. In the next video we'll continue. So thank you and I'll see you in the next one.